partial standing ovation. Greeks Manny Ramirez for his first at bat at Fenway in the Boston uniform. Manny two for ten with a couple of singles in that Baltimore series. He rips one high and deep to left and what a way to start his Red Sox career at home. A line shot into the screen on the first pitch and this ball game's tied at three. Look at the inside out swing, and he drives that ball into the Red Sox bullpen. Watch the hands come inside the inside fastball, and still the power to the opposite field. He has been just absolutely unbelievable. It's almost automatic. Yeah, you're surprised when he doesn't do something enormous. Here's a go, and then he's. Look out! Oh, man, for the second day in a row! This one goes into the upper deck. Manny Ramirez. Wow. Whoa. Look at this ball rolling back down. That just dropped into the bullpen. Well into the fifth deck. Hit so well he receives a huge ovation from this crowd in Toronto. Man, yesterday it was off the facing. This one was five, six, seven, eight rows up into that upper deck. The first one hit up there was back in 1989 in the divisional playoffs against Oakland. Jose Canseco hit one in a very similar spot. But what a great swing, very relaxed hands. In the air to right and deep. Justice back at the track. It's a tie ball game. Manny Ramirez has done it again. Plotting pace to the beginning of this one. Manny drives one high and deep in left center, way back and gone. His first career grand slam for the Red Sox. And it is six to one. It's a fastball right down the middle, and that time Manny does not pull that shoulder off. He stays right on it, and the long shot into the screen. Quickly now with 109 RBI, puts him one behind Gonzalez for the lead in the American League. Crowd buzzing after the grand slam by Ramirez that's given the Red Sox a five run lead here in the second Boys today that perhaps Montreal would move Bartolo Colon and Cliff Floyd whom they recently acquired when they thought they were in the race they're rapidly retreating from playoff contention. Mike Port said he had heard some of the reports that Montreal might be nudged by Major League Baseball to move some payroll if it's clear they're 
unlikely playoff contenders. And we get close to the deadline. That one might land in Montreal. High and deep to left and into the screen. Manny Ramirez with yet another home run. He's hit five in his last five games now. And the Red Sox take a four to nothing lead on their second two run homer of the night. For Manny, it's a 17. His last year there in an injury near its season there, he was 122. Last year, 125. In the air to left field. Struck pretty well. Carl Crawford headed back at the wall. Crawford will watch it leave. Grand slam number 15 for the career of Manny Ramirez. The Red Sox with one swing of the bat take a 4-2 lead. And he'd been hot lately. And those home runs will be coming in bunches later. And maybe they're coming sooner rather than later. And that ball is gone. A line drive into the Anaheim bullpen. And it is 2-0 Red Sox. Manny Ramirez with his fourth home run of the year. Good friend of mine, Gene Mock, told me that. Ramirez gets him home. And somehow... He almost always seems to get it done. And just a bouncer through the drawn in infield of the red. His line walks against Roger. The payoff pitch. Driven to left on a line. That will one hop the wall. Juan Rivera playing the ricochet, but Manny's headed for second base, and he's got himself a leadoff double to begin things in the second inning. Clemens ready with the 2-2. Dylan Brand shoots it right side into right field for a base hit. Manny Ramirez comes from third, and the Red Sox strike first on top one to nothing. The final game of the series. And he rips it down the line and left. That's in for a base hit. And a ground rule double that'll score Bill Miller with the game's first run. The Red Sox lead it one to nothing. Tough period for Manny. Went 14 games, hitting at 184. Back up the middle into center field for a base hit. Todd Walker is coming around with the second Boston run. Ramirez is driven both in, and the Red Sox lead it two to nothing. And again, very comfortable conditions here tonight in Chicago on the cool side. So used to being very humid. And the Red Sox are here. The 0-2, Manny sends it into deep right center field. Willie Harris on the move, looking up, it's gone. A three-run home run for Manny Ramirez. The Red Sox take the 5-3 lead with one swing of the bat. Well, Manny had a couple of breaking balls in that at bat to really uh, do some damage on. He missed one, he fouled it off, but he didn't miss this one. Such a good hitter. Takes that breaking ball and drives it to right center field. Instead of pulling the ball, stays on it a little bit longer and drives it the other way for the home run, providing a lot. Three straight hits to start the game. Red Sox picking up right where they left off. At the end of that Detroit series when they pounded the Tigers for four straight days, Manny tees off. High and deep to left and gone. Over the monster seats. A three-run homer in the Red Sox lead four to one. Well, we mentioned that Pavano has a tendency to give up home runs. Manny on the first pitch, a breaking ball, a slider that stays inside, and that's not where you want to leave the slider to Manny Ramirez. Home run 17, and he picks up his 58th, 59th, and 60th, runs back into the season. Angel plays the same way in center field, although he's a tremendous defensive outfielder. That one ripped high and deep to left. Look at this shot by Ramirez. That's way into the upper deck. My goodness. Manny Ramirez torches one at Yankee Stadium. How do you do on the 4th of July? Garcia Parra in scoring position. The full count to Ramirez. And he lifts it into right center field. A base hit. Here comes Garcia Parra. We're tied at four. Well, the 
the speed of Garcia Parra to pick up the stolen base and again in the scoring position for Ramirez. Acevedo falls behind. Ramirez into the bottom of the fifth. And uh, that's been without uh, Anaheim having anybody up in their bullpen. And they still do not. There goes Garcia Parra, the pitch of ball. And the throw down is not in time. Omar Garcia Parra with a stolen base jumps up into scoring position. And that was certainly stolen on Lackey. He got an excellent jump at first base. Molina has thrown out 44% of the runners. Very quick release by Molina. A terrific throw, but Nomar had such a good jump at first base. He picks up his 14th steal of the season. It is kind of strange to see a 7-7 game where both starting pitches are still in the ballgame. <laughs> And they've uh, both given up seven hits in this game. Lackey's given up two home runs while Supon has given up three. Nobody's been up for Anaheim. Red Sox have had action in their pen. The 2-2. Two -two, opposite field. Base hit for Ramirez. Garcia Parra is going to try and score. The throw from Devana and he is going to be close but not in time. No bars in and the Red Sox lead it 8-7. to seven. Ramirez drives in the go-ahead run. Now, the only reason Mike Covage, with nobody out, is able to send to Garcia Parra, watch the way DeBannon has to play this ball in right field. Instead of continuing to charge it, he has to be very defensive out there because of a strange hop. See him back off right there. Now, once Covage saw that, that's when he knew he could wave Garcia Parra around and have him score. It's close with nobody out, but that little move in the outfield gave Covage the green light to send to Nomar. Ready again, 3-2 to Ramirez. Way back, left field and deep. And gone. Manny Ramirez has tied it at two. That A-B and that swing is why it was so important that Embry got out of the bottom of the eighth inning without giving up either one of those insurance runs that the A's were trying to push across. The tenth pitch of the at bat was the one man he was looking for and it's his 28th home run. And Terrence Long only took a couple of perfunctory steps in left field. As Grady Little and the Red Sox in the dugout enjoyed every inch of that ride. And Manny lifts one into deep left center field. Guillen back at the wall. Goodbye. And Ramirez walking to first base and pointing to his teammates. Manny Ramirez, Ramirez here saying, let's start a new postseason tradition with that home run. That's what they're used to seeing out of him. I have never seen more emotion out of him than when he scored a run in yesterday's ball game. Here's the package. Curveball in the dirt, fastball in for the strike. Curveball in the dirt, swinging. Then Zito lets him back into the at-bat. A fastball that he fouls off, feels good about. Another one, the same pitch that Veritek hit, and he knows it's gone. And he swings and hits one high in the air to left field. Matsui is looking up. It may never come down. A two-run home run for Manny Ramirez, his fifth of the year, and the Red Sox are out to the 2 nothing lead. Ball to no strikes. Damon at third, two down. That fastball in the hands and he blows it into right field. Damon in to score, and the game is tied. With the Phillies taking two out of three at Veterans Stadium. And he hits it high in the air and deep and straight away center field. Glanville's at the wall, and that ball is gone. 120 runs batted in and 85 extra base hits and that might be another fair ball down the left field line played by Burl in the corner Ortiz scores back to back doubles for Ortiz and Ramirez back in the second inning started the night 
tied with Alex Rodriguez. The Yankees were rained out tonight at home against the Mets. Line to right, Abreu with a long run. He won't catch that one all the way to the wall. Untouched by fans. Three more runs batted in for Ramirez. And the Red Sox lead 10 to nothing. A double for Manny. He's driven in five runs tonight. Dreaming the game. Yeah, about five rows deep. I think he was shot out of a cannon. A 2-2 to Ramirez. Manny jacks it to left field. Crosby going back. Look it up. It is gone. Manny Ramirez has hit a solo home run to open up the... Red Sox threatening here in the last half of the third inning. To right center field. Hit well. Jermaine Dye going back at the wall. It is gone. A three-run home run for Manny Ramirez into the Boston bullpen. Puts the Red Sox on top. 4 nothing. Forty-eight pitches for Kenny Rogers to an inning in two-thirds. Ramirez hits it high in the air to deep right center field. Back towards the bullpen and gone! A two-run home run for Manny Ramirez. The Red Sox go back on top, 7-6. to six. I'll tell you what, you don't see many hitters take the breaking ball and drive it the other way. That's the curveball, but because of that hands inside the baseball approach by Ramirez, he can drive that ball, the breaking ball, the other way for the home run. The six in the second inning, then the Red Sox answered with five of their own in the bottom of the second. One so far here in the bottom of the third on top, now nine to six. And still batting with Garcia Parra at second base. In the air to center field. Nick's going back, looking up. It is gone. Home run number two of the night for Manny Ramirez. The Red Sox lead it 11 to 6. No, man. Yes, that's correct. One RBI away. His second home run of the night. Straightaway center field. And this hits right at the top of the cement wall in straightaway center. Long delay before an 0-2 pitch. And that's ripped into left field. Back at the wall. It's gone. Home run, Manny Ramirez. 3-0 American League. We've had a double, an RBI triple, a comebacker, and now a line drive home run into the seats and left by Ramirez. Manny Ramirez, first ball swinging back to the wall. Tied up! And the many Red Sox fans here in Chicago make themselves heard. Manny Ramirez on the 118th pitch thrown by Freddy Garcia launches one his 11th RBI of this series and just like that the Red Sox tie the game the 33rd home run of the year for Manny to end the first Ramirez Ortiz and Veritek the meat of the order Manny after the first one lifts a deep drive to left way back goes at Banyas at the wall he can't get it a home run and the Red Sox are on the board it's one to one Well, it looked like Manny reached for that pitch and just kind of flicked it. And boy, did that ball carry well over the fence and left for Manny's league-leading 39th home run of the season. Yeah, almost a one-handed swing on an off-speed pitch, a changeup. And Ramirez out on his front foot. You don't usually see him off balance like that, but his hands stay back. 
And he just kind of flicks at that ball and almost one hands it out of the ballpark. That was Aaron Taylor. And now here's an Aaron Taylor here tonight. Manny hits one high and deep. Way back in left, the grand slam. Into the second deck in left field. Second home run of the night for Ramirez. His 40th of the year. A grand slam that makes it 13 to 2. Well, we saw him hit one back in the fourth inning, almost one hand out of the ballpark, and this one is in the second deck in left field, and that's a long way. He knows he's got it. There's no question about that. Wow. In one spot. Looking ahead to his start tomorrow night on his right ankle. Ramirez with a base hit into center. Edmonds will come up throwing. The throw is wide. The other runners advance. They have Ramirez between first and second, able to get back to first. And the Red Sox have regained the lead. It's 8 7. Fly ball, deep drive to left field, and it's gone right now. Out of here. Home run, Manny Ramirez. He was due and he got one. And it is one to nothing. And once again, the Cardinals cannot keep the Red Sox from getting on. In the air to deep left. Off the bat of Manny Ramirez. When it comes down, the Red Sox will have a lead. 2 1 Boston on the two run shot by Ramirez. His first home run of 2005. Certainly good to get off the bat, get that first home run. Fastball middle in and Manny right on it. Much more relaxed. He looks like in there tonight than he did. Ramirez hits it high and deep to left. Can you say grand slam? Yes, you can, Manny Ramirez. And the Red Sox lead it six to one. A two-run shot for Manny Ramirez, followed up by the grand slam. It's all Manny tonight. How relaxed Manny looked, and this is a great example because this is a changeup from Brazelton. And Manny, not overstriding, not jumping out there, just absolutely crushes it. Stayed back beautifully, and you're right, this is Manny's night. He pitched. And he takes care of it as he hits one to deep left field and gone. That's an answer. How about that answer? Throw behind me and I'll send one out of the yard. Puts the Red Sox on top 5-2. Ramirez with his sixth home run of the year. And all the way around for the A's with one out in the inning. Red Sox already on top 2 to nothing, and here's Manny. A strikeout victim back in the first. In the air to left field. Has it got enough? Yes, it does. A two-run home run for Manny Ramirez. He clears the monster and left his eighth home run. The Red Sox lead it four to nothing. I'll tell you what. The last two home runs we've seen from the Red Sox, that looks like it might be a little cutter or a slider. The one from Millar last night and this one from Manny. Line drive home runs. Crowd reacting, seeing Mandy get his batting helmet on. They're, they're standing.
a fitting moment this is as Ramirez makes his way to the plate. Now what a change of tune too for the Red Sox fans from just two nights ago. Manny's still in a Red Sox uniform and Red Sox Nation is pleased with that development. As he steps to the plate with runners at first and second and two down in the eighth. 28 homers, 92 RBIs and the 273 batting average. Strike one to Ramirez from Rincon. One for five. He has pinch hit only once this season and walked in that pinch hit appearance. Missing in the count one and one. 94 that time from Rincon. One of those classic moments at Fenway. I mean, two nights ago, booing Manny to the standing ovation today in a position where he could give the club a lead, not traded. People here probably didn't even know that until they saw him come out of the dugout. Renteria at second, Ortiz at first, two down. And a strike, and it's one and two. Staying away from Ramirez with every pitch. A breaking ball on the first pitch, back-to-back -back fastballs. That time called a strike. Looked like the same pitch as the last one. Ramirez, who has always had a flair for the dramatic. A little drama here. Last to the eighth, tied at three. The one-two pitch. Ramirez stays alive, protects the plate, 95 from Rincon, and slap foul to the right. Very defensive swing again. The ball away from Rincon, and just a little flick of the wrist by Manny to have another chance. at second Ortiz at first. Ramirez chops it up over the mound. In the center. Here comes Renteria. The Red Sox take the 4-3 lead. Manny's back and he's back big. with the pitch with two down. Ramirez checks it to center field. Bernie Williams going back. Look it up. It is gone. Three run home run for Manny Ramirez. His 45th of the year. And the Red Sox on top six to nothing. Ramirez goes to right field. Back it goes. Back, back, back. Is gone. That is still the longest hitless streak that he's ever had as a big leaguer. Well, I don't, yeah, and I don't think that uh, you expect Manny Ramirez to ever go over 21. 
because he puts the ball in play and he hits the ball hard. He can drive it through the infield. That one is hammered yeah. high See? and deep, and you can forget about it. Way, way back there. Gone a home run. And this game is tied up. Manny Ramirez breaks out of an 0 for 18 in style. A tape measure home run. Wow. Sometimes power against power doesn't work in the pitcher's advantage because he was a 2 0 pitch. He was sitting dead red. He got the fastball. It was, looked like it was down a little bit toward the inner half. Fly ball to right field. Mark T in back pedaling. Now twists around. It's up and it's off the wall. They get all twisted up as Euclid is going to try and score. Manny into second base. Euclid will score. And the Red Sox take a 1 0 lead. A two out RBI for Manny Ramirez. Left middle finger in August. Placing him on the DL for the third time. That was in between being hit in the head by a line drive. Manny hits this one deep and far to left. Abanya is back looking up and it is gone into the monster seats. Ramirez has gone deep for the fourth time this year and he puts the Red Sox on top seven to five. Manny drives it out towards deep right field. Back goes Guillen at the wall. It is gone. Ramirez puts the Red Sox on top, eight to seven in the eighth. Well, we mentioned the inside out swing, and what a night to have it here at Fenway Park. Manny has now pulled one to left field, but this one to the opposite field into that breeze. Seven homers against left hand. The 1-1. One, one. Driven to deep right field. Jermaine Dye headed back at the wall. It's gone into the bullpen. Three-run shot opposite field for Manny Ramirez. His 15th home run of the year. And just like that, it's a 3-0 Red Sox lead. Manny Ramirez leads it off for the Red Sox. Sends one to deep center field. Grady Sizemore headed back, looking up, and that ball is gone. Straight away center field for Manny Ramirez, who hits his 16th home run of the year and puts the Red Sox on top one to nothing. Well, we mentioned that Manny took a lead deep in a game at Fenway Park earlier this season. It's the 16th home run that Lee has given up this year. And number 16 for Manny Ramirez. He jumps on that first fastball. There's that first and second, nobody out. And Manny lines it down the left field line. This is a fair ball as it heads towards the corner. Over to play it is Michael scoring from second is Pedroia. A double for Ramirez as Ortiz stops at third. The Red Sox take a 5 1 lead. That's the second time, man. And a payoff pitch to Ramirez. Fly ball to deep center field. Back goes Grady Sizemore at the wall. He leaps. It's gone. Man, he's gone deep twice tonight. Two run home run this time and his 17th home run of the year. Red Sox take a 14 to 9 lead. Well, twice to center field tonight for Manny Ramirez. This one not quite as deep as the first one, but certainly deep enough. Sizemore goes back. It looked like for a second he might have a chance at it, but no. Up over the wall, so Ramirez with a big night.
they're still alive right. in game four. And Ramirez drives one. And the Red Sox go back to back 2-0. David Ortiz hit the ball hard, but Randy, Manny Ramirez hit it into the stratosphere. That ball was just a rocket. Hard base hit down the line. Pedroia is going to come around to score. Yukas on his way to third. They're waving him home. Emil Brown, the cutoff man. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. This game is tied. Manny Ramirez. Ramirez, a one ball, two strike count. Lugo. At second base, Ortiz on at first. Ramirez, center field, way back. Sweeney at the wall, up, up the top of the wall. Ortiz is already coming around third. Ramirez heading for second base, but nobody was covering. And the Red Sox have the lead. Ramirez has four RBIs. To deep left field for Manny Ramirez and over everything. Three-run shot puts the Red Sox on top, 3-0. Well, Manny Ramirez gets a changeup from James Shields, a changeup that stays inside, and he just launches it over those monster seats. What great balance that time by Ramirez to stay back on the changeup. Like I said, I'm happy to be here. You know, whatever happened in Boston, that's in the past. I'm just thinking blue right now, and... I'm just here to have fun and, and enjoy the game. Like I said, I'm excited to be here. I'm looking forward for this. You know, I'm kind of nervous. You know, a new league, a new stadium, you know, that I haven't played here before. But um, I'm just going to go and try my best. He looks at third, comes to the plate. Fastball is lifted to left center and deep. Back goes Young. Way back. Manny's being Manny. And the Dodgers lead two to nothing. steps he comes and he salutes the crowd right back. 